Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your girl Malia, and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a week in my life vlog in so long. They used to really overwhelm me, but I feel like I'm finally learning some, like, basic necessity skills that it takes to be a little YouTuber. Like, TikTok, my jam. Instagram, mm, what is it called? Like, my kryptonite. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best. YouTube is like a passion, but I felt like I didn't always take the time to like learn how to be good at it. And I feel like I've done that recently. I feel like I know how to edit now. And like, not that I didn't know how to edit. It was like more like importing, anywho, the boring stuff. I'm going to do a week in my life so that you guys can see what my life looks like now. That I'm an independent queen, an independent girly, and just like doing my own little thing, living my own little life. I feel like I'm in my soft life era like not too much because i'm just like a big and bold girl to be to begin with but like i don't know i like peace i like routine and i've been trying to find that in my place and i feel like i've done a pretty good job at it it is monday morning we're starting here monday i was gonna start yesterday on sunday but i was i went to a housewarming and i feel like that's so intimate that whoever's house i was at like maybe they don't want their house to be on freaking youtube so i didn't start yesterday when i thought i was gonna start just out of privacy and respect to my friends but yesterday me and jamal went to a housewarming for our friends and then we ended up going to a little event for cider um it was their third anniversary it's like Shein, but it's the, the website's name is cider we went to that and then it's monday morning i woke up at jamal's house so it's time to do our little commute back home I'm gonna pick up Starbucks because that is my treat. Like when I'm not home, I'm allowed to get Starbucks. When I'm home, we're not doing Starbucks. We're making it at home. But when I'm not home, I can get Starbucks. And I've been craving this drink. Oh my goodness, it's a strawberry matcha. And I've tried to buy the things to make it myself. And the strawberry that I bought is just so artificial tasting. It's not the same vibe. So mm, I'm just so excited to get it. The only thing that sucks is all the modifications that I make you can't do it on the app so I actually have to order in person which is kind of stressful because I feel like I never order of course everyone wants to be at this stoplight the same stop sign at the same time as me um I feel like I never order in person and I always end up forgetting something I either try to change the milk or I forget to I don't say it right I don't know so we shall see and I'm hoping that I, I don't know if I'm in the mood for an apple croissant because those are always sold out and I feel like his location always has them like people out here don't know about the apple croissant or I will get the pumpkin cream cheese muffin which again a bop delicious so let's see what we end up getting and I'll update you guys later okay so look at this drink it's pink foam it's an iced matcha I get mine with coconut milk add strawberry to the vanilla sweet cream cold foam and mix in strawberry puree to the matcha which i feel like they didn't do because there's usually little strawberry bits oh well i'm not gonna cry about it and then i got a grilled cheese went crazy didn't even ask about the fall stuff i saw the grilled cheese and i was like yeah yeah i'm gonna go do a mukbang on tiktok because i feel like i have fallen off of my tiktok mukbang roots like Ever since I've been trying to eat at home more and not eat out, it's like, what am I gonna do? Mukbang the quesadilla I made at home? Like, I feel like that's so boring. So I'm gonna go ahead and mukbang this, BRB. Monday, week in my life. On Monday mornings, I like to set out what my week looks like. Sometimes I just do it on my phone. Sometimes I do it in my actual planner. I'm gonna do it in my actual planner. So the first things right off rip are tomorrow, Tuesday. I have the Essence event, Essence makeup. I believe that's at 6 p.m. with Marissa. That's the first thing that like I think of when I think of my week right now. Wednesday is a free day, no events, nothing I'm RSVP'd to, nothing I absolutely have to do. Thursday, I have a Hello Kitty event. Get that on the board. Hello Kitty, 5 p.m. with Jamal, my boyfriend, and Marissa. Perfect. Friday, birthday dinner at Nobu. It's my friend's birthday dinner. Nobu at 8 p.m. Saturday, I think it's chill vibes. 
And then Sunday is my day with my man. I'm gonna put Jamal day. Okay. <sighs> on weeks like this, I look at my schedule and I'm like, yay, on and popping. The only thing that makes me sad is like, okay, I have one day with my boyfriend, like I have an event for a few hours with him and then one day with him. He's trying to work as much as he can work before his basketball season starts when he like really can't work at all because of how busy his schedule is. So like, I totally get it. It just sucks. Like this weekend, I only saw him Sunday and it's like when you only see him one day, like go so fast and just to know that we have to do the exact same thing next week and it's what we did last week too because he we worked saturday i'm like mm, boo but that's what the schedule looks like right this second and that's pretty much it so now i start to fill in like video ideas i like to do and what i want to do so like tonight i want i haven't filmed a podcast and i don't know how long i want to podcast tonight i took notes on what type of podcast i want to film da 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 that's in there. Wednesday is my next free day. I apparently student loans are a thing and I have to pay mine back. So I need to look into student loan payments because I have no idea who to pay, where to pay and how much I owe. I took out loans and then got a scholarship but I already had that loan money but then my scholarship paid for my school. So like I have the money to pay the school back but I don't know how much I actually owe them. Like is it more than what i don't know i just need to and where the heck i pay them like can i just give money to cal state florida and, and they do it but that's not how that works so i have to figure that out looking at my checklist there's a dance class that i could either take tonight at 6 p.m or wednesday at 5 p.m and i kind of want to do a dance class so i'm gonna write down dance 6 p.m question mark for tonight and i'll write down dance 5 p.m. question mark for Wednesday. It's like either day, if it fits the schedule, maybe we'll take a dance class for the first time in like three years. I used to love dance. I feel like I need to find passions and hobbies that I really enjoy and look forward to in the week. Um, that's besides social media. As much as I love social media and it's been a love of mine since I was literally 12, I feel like I need hobbies outside of it. Okay. And then let's see what else is there. I wanted to film, I want to do a matcha series. I want to get back into my mukbangs. So I'm just going to look at the film that I art, uh, like videos that I've already filmed but haven't edited and posted. Kind of write that into my schedule and then think of things throughout the week. So this is my little pl Monday planning. Um, after this, I'm going to unpack. My bag I, I wanted to just do this right when I got in so I kind of saw what my day looked like um I'm gonna unpack my bag from the weekend because I came home to a clean house because I did my Sunday reset before I left so I love that I literally got so giddy I'm like walking down the hallway like to get to my door and I'm just like I'm going home I love my home um absolutely love it it's been one month here and I'm obsessed uh but yeah so I'm gonna finish planning and then today, like I said, is chill vibes. So like nothing much, but like you, you heard there's some, there's gonna be some fun stuff in this vlog. We're going to two events. We're going to a birthday dinner and you get to see what me and Jamal do on a fun day. And then you get to see what a chill Monday, Wednesday and Saturday look like. I'll probably end up going to my PO box. I'm gonna put that down for Wednesday as well, PO box. And whenever I go to my PO box, I feel like I can treat myself to fast food because it's next to so many fast food places. So I'm gonna say Taco Bell mukbang would be fire to do on my little day off, my fun day of running errands and stuff. Um, and I'm also gonna not try to spend so much money because I feel like something about me is when I feel like I want to make good quality content, I feel like I have to go spend money. And that's not the case. We can have fun without doing that, so. I'm gonna finish planning, I'll see you guys later. Day. It's been like maybe an hour and a half since we talked. I finished planning out my week and then I got inspired that before I clean my beauty room, I might as well get it dirtier by filming my Fashion Nova Get Dressed With Me. So that hopefully can be in real time. You guys can actually vote on what I wear tomorrow because hopefully I get to post it tomorrow and then you know, like wait for the results. So I've been sitting here editing some content that I filmed last week, yesterday. Um, right, I'm about to do a voiceover for a Spend the Day With Me. Uh, I try to like do different ways to do spend the day with me because I'm just like, I feel like long form YouTube content is like what I was made for because like I just love to chat, but like the time, the 
what is it called the attention span is not the same on tiktok i feel like when i chat it doesn't necessarily perform as well or it doesn't even end up on people's like for you pages to even see that i'm making that type of content versus shorter form voice over vlogs so i did a little day in my life that i'm gonna post i'm gonna do the voiceover right now i filmed and edited fashion nova and I did not clean the beauty room, but we will get to that. I'm trying to get my water intake because this weekend there was a lot of alcohol and not a lot of water intake. So I'm trying to do that. And I signed up for the dance class. So I'm going to the dance class at 6 o'clock. I'm already like, what do I wear? It's a hip-hop beginner's class. I've danced, I want to say my whole life, but I haven't danced since high school. So that's already not a big portion of my life. Um, I danced from like 7 years old on and off till i was 12 and then from 12 to 18 i danced um the whole time so haven't danced since i was 18 i'm 23 haven't been in a dance class in a long time very intimidating i'm going as a beginner's class like i've looked up the choreographer on instagram she does some cool songs her style is my style like i'm not one to like tick 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 boom like i hate that style of hip-hop and doesn't look she looks like she's like sassy groove stuff like that hopefully it's a good ass song i've always ever not always but since the song came out on my mama i want to dance that so like that would be my hope and prayer of what our dance is tonight and then hopefully if it goes good i want to go back on wednesday and i go back on wednesday but if not like i did something i put myself out of my comfort zone but i'm already thinking like what do i wear it's hip-hop so i should be in like baggy oversized clothes because when you're skinny and you have long limbs you look really awkward doing hip-hop so like you, you need something baggy with it so i was gonna look at a bunch of hip-hop tiktoks and see what people were wearing and get some fashion inspo but i'm gonna edit this and i'll see you guys later probably i'll probably not do anything too exciting so i'll see you when we go to the dance class okay i'm ready i'm about to go out the door i did a little makeup put on a baggy tee i have baggy pants on and my pink air forces for confidence we've messed around for too long like it's time to really go now so i'm gonna head out and We'll recap later and I'll put in little clips of whatever ends up happening. All right, wish me luck. We just took a dance class. We just took a dance class. We just took a dance class for the first time in five years. Like, are you kidding me? That was cool. Walking in, it was really intimidating. Um, I understand that I was going to like a be um, cooking dinner here. We're gonna make shrimp garlic pasta. But um, you get that it's like beginners and that everyone's a beginner, but then it's like, okay, how beginners everybody? Is this their fifth beginner class or is this their first beginner class? And like right off rip, everyone's skill and talent is at different levels. There's people in there that I feel like they just danced yesterday. And there's people in there that I'm like, probably never danced a day in their life, but they're having so much fun with it. So I'm like walking off frame. They were having so much fun with dancing that it was you would think that they do this every day it was like a girl said like oh this is my first class like i took dance um p in high school and i wanted to keep dancing and she was a freshman in college and she's getting out there and she's she's like feeling the emotion and you would just like like her confidence just really ate up the room like in a, in a good way like it made you want to be confident dancing next to her it was really dope um the song was September. Uh, ah, yeah. So like I was hoping for a little bit more like a ah, ah, ah moment and we were more like, it was really just a groove. You guys will have to check out the dance on my Instagram or on my TikTok because I can't play music on here and what's the point of showing you a dancey dance with no music. So I'm gonna go shower and then we're gonna make garlic, spicy garlic pasta with shrimp and vegetables and call it a night before we hit tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna clean my beauty room. I say that every day. Step some time, making it a real room. Clean my beauty room, work out, and go to my event. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm not a chef, that's why I didn't record, because I need to make sure this even tastes good before I go and tell people about it. But Trader Joe's has a garlic pasta that's frozen. So I heated those noodles up. I took frozen from Trader Joe's, uh, stir fry vegetables made those added that to the noodles and then i took regular raw shrimp seasoned the heck out of it garlic powder smoked paprika garlic salt or garlic yeah garlic powder a little bit of actual garlic red chili flakes and i'm gonna try her all together it smells really good and i didn't set off the fire alarm which hmm, 
that's very easy to do. So a win is a win. Okay. Whoa. Mm. Oh, heck yeah. I'm a chef. Ooh, ooh, I'm a chef. Ooh, ooh. Y'all want the recipe? I got you. And the portions are big enough at Trader Joe's that this is like, I only made half the bag because I don't like leftovers. I'd rather just have something that I can make again another time. So I sold half of everything to make one more time. Period. I'm so tired from that dance class. I'm gonna eat this and pass out. Good morning, sunshine. It's day two, it's Tuesday. What do we have on the agenda today? Quite literally the agenda. Today's the event day with my friend Marissa. I wanted to get a workout in. I wanna clean my beauty room and I need to post my regular stuff. So that's a sleigh. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to do. I am going to the gym right now. I'm drinking my pre-workout. Um, Amino Lean Alex Earl. It's the only one that doesn't make me jittery. Like, I am sponsored, but not this isn't sponsored. But, like, I probably would... I wanted to buy it and try it when it came out. Because I'm like, this girl, like, it doesn't look like she would drink something that would make you super shaky. Like, I bought... Because Alex bought it type of deal. But, like, I really enjoy it. And, like, Alani News... I love those too, but what happens is I end up drinking this much of it and I already feel cracked out. This, I do my little, like this much, chug it down and I feel good and then after my workout, I don't feel like oh, crazy. But I'm gonna drink her, throw my shoes. I'm in like a whatever, like, I feel like I dress like a mom to the gym. Like I don't wear the cute little sets. I just wear a t-shirt with like some type of short. I'm gonna try my, Wait for it, wait for it. I hope they charge enough. They came with some sort of charge just in the box, but I haven't done a full night's charge. I'm wearing my AirPod Max dupes from Amazon. Let's sync them while we're here, right? Is that not the button? I just held something down. Um, okay, that's not the button. This is the button. Let's see. Power. Power on, pairing, connected. Yep, they connected automatically to my phone. I didn't click anything. Okay. So my... But could you guys hear that? That's like my biggest ick is like if I'm in the gym and like someone can hear what I'm playing. Yeah, you can very much hear it. Like, ew. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna head down to the gym. I've been more loving a good upper body day, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I would take you, but kinda shy, kinda shy. But I'm gonna take you to the event tonight, okay? All right, peace, love, happiness, see y'all later. Okay, it's time to get ready for my event. And normally, I would be already doing, like my hair would already be done, but I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. Like I have a really good idea, but I'm not like 100%. Bro, when pro products are expensive, I swear I use like the smallest a bit and expect it to like do what it's supposed to do. This magic this magic cream is magic. It's just priced. Like I feel like a hundred dollars for a lotion should be illegal, but it is so nice. But um, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. I have an idea, which like in theory, like sounds good like I feel like okay yeah like I could commit to that I just found out that the event where's my sunscreen I found out the event is outside and that changes the game like it's chilly it's on a rooftop and so I'm just like um okay like it is a skirt what I want to be wearing and it's like the outfit that I planned is like very fall and this brand is like very girly the event we're going to today is for essence my friend got um essence beauty she got nominated for a mascara award she did an ad with them and we all voted and stuff and she won her category so she gets her award tonight so fun but um i'm her plus one 
And I just didn't know it was going to be outside. It's like a girly event. She's supposed to wear like pink, green, or white. And I'm going to be showing up in, in brown and black. I feel like that's just like ugh, doomsday. So I'm using my new makeup products. And I'm in no rush, but somehow my makeup always takes me the same amount of time. Like I could do a, a full glam. I think the only makeup that takes me like a really long time is if I'm doing gems. Besides that, I can have my makeup done in 45 minutes. I don't know how I feel about this Refi primer. I like a primer that has some stick to it. And as much as I love the glow, having dry skin, I feel like I still need the... Like, I shouldn't be putting it down my neck. I just think I used a lot. I feel like I still need my good old e.l.f. power grip. And what's crazy is the way I didn't like the Milk Hydro Grip. Everyone told me I needed to try it since I have such a stand for this product. And I tried it. And I've never had patchier makeup. And so I think it just didn't react well with my skin type. Like, my oily zones versus my dry areas. Well, it's not a good combo for that primer. Do I do actual foundation? Do I do my Rum Beauty foundation? Let's do it. Instead of a skin tint. I'm such a skin tint girl. I like going in with my finger. Now, I haven't worn this out and about to know if it oxidizes. I really just did my makeup one night before bed to play with it. So this will be a wear test. But I feel like this is the opportunity to do it. Like we're going to a makeup beauty event. And what's crazy is not to spill tea on anybody, but like sometimes when you go to these beauty events, you see these creators who they do that they do beauty videos, and you see them in real life, and you're like, oh, that's nice to know that your makeup looks just like mine. Like a lot of people airbrush and face tune their stuff and so you're thinking these people are walking around with this flawless makeup and you're thinking that you have like really shitty makeup on or something and then you see them in real life you're like oh okay so like i was following your tutorial right but i just noticed that and i feel like it just helped my <laughs> boosted my not that like someone else is like downfall are we focused here not that someone's downfall is like how I feel good, but it's like also like a good reminder because when you're constantly seeing perfection, it can be very like overwhelming of like, what's real life, what's not real life. I will see you guys when I'm done doing my makeup and show you the final look and then you guys can help me pick my outfit. Or I guess this isn't real time, but I can show you the process of me picking my outfit. We're back and we don't know what we want to wear. I have this little top that came with like a bikini like it's not a it's not meant to be in this pool, but like that's the style of it. And it has these sleeves. It's like a floral blue metallic. And then I paired them with brown flare leather pants. And she's cute. This I would consider the skirt if I literally didn't have to hold my VJJ all night. Um Yeah, way too short. It's just I feel like I'm going to a business meeting and not a, maybe the headbands really doing it for me or like maybe i do need a lash for this because i feel like i'm just i feel like i'm almost like a pta mom like going to a meeting like i feel like i'm gonna look back and be like why were you wearing that so then i also have the thing that is is when i take this off i'm screwed because it took me about 10 minutes to get this even buttoned um i have this top which could be fun and then i might you know what i'm gonna try this on because i might have a jacket that goes Okay, shirt number two is giving. Like, I love the details. I'm sucked in. Um, shoes, I know what I would wear. Purse, the only thing is, is I want a purse big enough for you guys to go in. So it, like, kind of changes up my purse game here. But, again, with the jacket, like, we just, we're going to be cold or what? Oh, like, again, for as much, as many clothes as I have, it's, like, I were done with this problem last winter and I was like, I have no jackets. I bought all these jackets and then the jackets are just very much the same style in different colors. Like, no, absolutely not. Wait, y'all, I kind of did something. So I put this white fox corset on with this Fashion Nova skirt. It's like the long, it's a long skirt. 
How can I show you? I literally, this is cute. It's different for me, but it feels really elegant and like soft girl era. And then the pumps, the pumps, don't play with the pumps, girl. I feel like I did this with this outfit, but I think I did the wrong occasion. We're going to a birthday dinner on Friday to Nobu, and I feel like this is just screaming like sit down girly dinner, cheers with some wine. So I'm gonna save this, but I did this. So now I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing on Friday. Let's try again. New angle unlocked. I'm at the point where if it was my size, it wouldn't take me 30 years to put on. <sighs> Holy crap. Last one, okay, we're in. We're in, girls. Look at her. She's so cute with the skirt. Now I just still have on the shoes that I had on for my last outfit, and I'm gonna still look at different shoes, but she's cute, and I don't feel like I'm pulling the skirt down the whole night. I feel like this is bright and light like the event itself. So let's accessorize. Okay, so I have Lizzie on the phone. I just got off the phone with Jamal. We all agreed on this outfit. It's the little secretary skirt set. Very light and bright since the event is like pinks and greens and tans. I'll at least be in tan. I went with nude heels. <laughs> Not the... <laughs> and then I wanted a purse big enough to put my camera in, which this might be big enough if I have nothing else in here. But what else do I have? I'm just gonna put on my little Crocs or something and get ready to drive. You did miss the 45 minutes of traffic it took me just to get to my friend's house where I'm only gonna Uber to her at her work, get in her car and then drive another hour. So this like little event became like a three hour day. And so she actually got called to work a little bit later so I was early than I, earlier than I needed to be, so I went ahead and stopped at Taco Bell. I didn't film on here, but I filmed a little mukbang, so stay tuned. But yeah, um, now I'm just waiting for my Uber. My Bessie put me in a Tessie. She got Uber credit from the brand, and like since she's already her job is so close to where the event is, she was like, you just Uber to me, use those credits, and then I'll drive us. I was like, okay, cool. She's doing dry September, what is it called? Sober September. So she's whipping us, so I'm just Ubering to her job right now and then we'll go from there. In the car with the woman herself, woman of the hour, the mascara queen of the night. You're so live right now. Essence favorite mascara girly. As she applies her mascara, <laughs> just took some fire rooftop pictures. Fire. While she was getting dressed, I just kept myself entertained like a little child. Your so dashboard is honestly like these. a vlogger's look favorite. at these. Are you joking? And this is why she won the award. You're joking right now. That's just mascara. You're joking. I think you had a little help from God though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was no, like a little No bias. mascara could have done that for mine, a but bias, for sure. <laughs> she has Alex Earl lashes. But I'm literally shocked. I haven't taken Instagram pictures in over a month, and the gram's gonna see these. So the make sure you're following me on the gram because. Me too. Me too. We crunk lit in this bitch. bitch. Look at essence. Period. Period. I vlogged on my phone because it's hard to like whip her out 24/7. Like she's a big girl. She's a big girl. But we went shopping right there. I'll show you what we got like later. Super shopping. Yeah, like like trunk or treat. We back. It's 11:43. We just got home. Fun day. Long day. I ended up like pressing on on my camera and it was just like on but not recording just like in my purse for a long time and the camera overheated didn't die just overheated and so then it was like at that point i just started recording on my phone so i got a few snippets on my phone um it is hard because i'm not trying to play any copyrighted music but i'm also trying to show you guys around um but i thought i would show you i got we stayed until the very end of an event and perks of staying till the end and not <sighs> i saw some influencers that are like there's levels to this shit, right and there i saw some influencers there that are definitely on a whole different tier a whole different level like damn near started the internet and it's like i didn't think they'd be at an event like that but there's people that like pop in and pop out like okay i'm just here to like get my picture and leave there's perks to staying for the whole event and mingling talking to people and just staying for the whole event because at the end of the night when they need to get rid of all this stuff and they already had in mind that the, this stuff was going to be all gone try and get rid of it 
my bag is full to here with makeup. This is our Essence haul. <laughs> Shout out Essence, I kind of robbed you, but like you told me to. Period, not mad, great haul. Good night, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do something fun, I don't know. Good morning friends. It is 10 a.m. and it's pitiful, but I woke up at eight. I went on my phone for like 20 minutes. My bestie Lizzie called me, it wasn't a gym morning. We both decided on that. I think I'm gonna take a dance class tonight, but I'm not 100% sure because I also might see my sister and go to dinner with my sister. I offered for her to come over and I would cook for us and then she was like, but sushi's a serve and who am I to say no to sushi? Um, I am setting up my birth control. This is a fun game I play. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't wanna go to the gym because do you guys ever get tired of showering? Is that just me? I get to a point sometimes where I'm like literally tired of showering and yesterday I showered twice and uh, I don't know that sounds terrible to say out loud now that I'm saying it out loud but like I literally don't want to go and get dirty and then have to shower I think it's because the humidity of the shower just ruins my hair so like that's all I can think about like every shower is my hair getting more and more messed up anywho I'm going to do a little ab workout here on my floor right here She's beauty, she has grace. She's a perfect little ab workout spot. And then I'm going to get ready for the day. Just a little minor no makeup makeup beat. I want to look cute, put on a little outfit, a running errands outfit. We have grocery shopping to do. Just a few things, like the stuff that goes bad is what I need. Um, I'm out of almond milk, so I can't make a matcha latte, and that's killing me right now. That's all I want right now is a matcha latte, but I don't, my almond milk is disgusting. Um, I have white bread and if I don't buy American cheese, my white bread's gonna go bad because I eat a million grilled cheeses in a week. So I want um, cheese, um, um, I don't even know. I like the grilled, I, I love having a good Uncrustable in the house, like when I don't know what I want but I'm hungry and I just pull that out. And so like my like main things that I like having aren't here. I have enough snacks. Okay, I don't need any snacks. Um, and I can use some more protein. Anyhow, we'll go through the fridge together. Um, grocery shopping, I have to check my P.O. box. It's been a week and if I don't check every week, like, they literally get mad at me, they don't give too many packages. Um, I was gonna stop at home because all that stuff is close to my mom's house, but no one's home, so I'm like, it's boring, I don't have to stop there. Um, I did buy a plant, it's not gonna be in until next week, it's gonna go in that corner. It's a tall plant, so I kinda wanna find it a vase, but maybe I should wait until the plant is here and, like, then figure out what vase. Um, and then I might get a pedicure because yesterday I went to the event and I literally had open toed shoes on with no toes. Like th there's a clear polish. They were French tip. The French got really long. I cut the white off the French and now it's just clear polish on my toes. And I have something, somewhere to go tomorrow. I have somewhere to go Friday. And just, I, this is the longest I've ever gone without having my toes done. Like this is pitiful. I think the French tip, the last pedicure I got was end of July before I went to Vegas. Like, oh my gosh, that's pitiful. Anyway, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We're, we made it to the middle of the week. Let's have a good second half. Ha Let's have a good second half of this week. I quite literally hate these. They're the most claustrophobic thing, but that's also why I waited 18 million years to get my car washed. I'm like, are my windows up? Like, I don't even know. Oh, see, nobody else gets extremely claustrophobic and I'm not claustrophobic. Okay, I made myself a deal, and that deal is that I will do an at-home pedicure so I can get sushi for lunch. What do we think about this deal? Because my sister was like, let's get sushi tonight, and then she was like, wait, never mind, I'm getting sushi with my friends tomorrow, and I'm like, well, now all I can think about is a salmon lemon roll since 10 a.m. when you texted me that, and so it's only 11.40, by the way. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. But I'm like, okay, I'm next to one of my favorite sushi spots. I'm close to my mom's house. I can go do a gel pedicure on myself. Like, it's not peak summer anymore. As long as I got the dogs out every day. Do a quick free pedicure that should last me three weeks. And then my pedicure budget can go towards sushi. Now, is it the smartest thing to do? 
now. Um, I'm going to Nobu on Friday for her friend's birthday. But I already said that like, I've had sushi that's better than Nobu. Drinks at Nobu are worth it. There's like one roll that's worth it at Nobu. So I already said like, I feel like I should go to that pretty full because I'm not trying to blow a bag on, eh, like, oh, if I go to sea butter, I'm blowing a bag. I'm blowing a bag at sea butter in Newport Beach, Laguna Beach. I'm not sure they're so close to each other. If you're ever in Laguna or Newport, go to sea butter. Tell Malia sent you. They won't know who Malia is, but, and you get the Lux plate. Lux or Lux? I, I think it's Lux plate, like luxury. Oh my God, the best sushi I've ever had in my life. And now that I've had that so much, when I think about like what I get at Nobu, I'm like, mm, unimpressed. Um, like could do without it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go kind of full on Friday. Now I say that now and then I get there and I'm like, oh, this, 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 this. But I'd rather have one of my favorite local sushi spots for lunch and they have a lunch special. So I'm gonna run my errands. I'm at the post office. From the post office, cause nothing's perishable. I'm gonna go home and do the pedicure. From the pedicure, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and from the grocery store, I'm gonna pick up my sushi and then head home. This dog makes my day every day, but when I come over and she doesn't come out of her bed to come say hi, she makes me so sad. But I did my toes. We're gonna look at them very quickly. Ooh, and we're gonna be done because well, the way I do my toes, I do them super messy with the thought of when I shower, I'm gonna scrape off the extra polish, okay? Now for my favorite activity when I'm at home, going shopping in my mom's pantry. Her pantry's already looking a little sad, so. I already pulled broccoli cheddar rice, cause that just fits sometimes, like that's like a girl dinner. Like I'm just having that. I wish she had mashed potatoes. Oh, I need to put that on my list. Tomato soup because I'm gonna make grilled cheese eventually. I've just been craving it, I have to. Um, does she have mashed potatoes? Dang! Mom, where are your mashed potatoes? She need to get on her mashed potatoes. Um, and then in the fridge, that used to be my fridge, I bought American cheese slices. So I'm taking those with me before I moved out. And then she has almond milk and that was on my list of things that I needed to get at the store. So I'm going to use her almond milk. Shout out mom. This will be the test if she watches my YouTube videos. Cause then she's going to be like, Oh yeah, I just went grocery shopping. You didn't say all my groceries. Is she going to say that? Or is she going to be shh because she didn't watch it? Um, dang. I have ice cream bars in here that I bought. Oh, this sucks. Cause it's like, okay, well I have to run errands. Is this rice? Oh, Spanish rice, I need white rice. Okay. That's everything we can steal from mom's house. Let's go ahead and head to our errands. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Okay, I just went grocery shopping and then while I was grocery shopping, I placed my order for pickup. So I'm gonna go pick up my sushi right now. And with grocery trips like this, where it's like not my full trip, I feel like it's like silly dumb money. Like, okay, if I'm just out here getting the sides so I can make full meals and some vegetables and fruit, like the stuff, the perishables, I was getting sides, I have proteins, sides and perishables, milk, things like that. Why is it coming out to this much? Ah! But then, and then I felt really bad for getting sushi. I was like, I just got all this stuff. I better go home and eat me some fucking pizza rolls. It's freaking, sorry, I'm trying to do better at that. Um, and then I get a text from my good old manager. I love her. She gets me some, UG I've been doing a lot of UGC deals um, where like you create content for brands and then the brand posts it and you don't have to post it. And she sends me this deal. She was, do you want to do this UGC deal? But I need it by the end of the day today. <laughs> yup, that just, I just broke even. Girl math, period. I'm actually up. I don't know if this makes full sense to everybody, but I haven't fully explored my new city and I love it, don't get me wrong, but nothing feels safer than like where I grew up and not even like, oh, where I grew up with some luxury city. It's just the fact that I feel like it's small enough that I see the same faces literally the whole time. like all the errands I just ran, I saw familiar faces. Whether I used to go to the gym with them, I would see them at the mall. They, I worked in the city, they would come into my old restaurant Outback. Like, 
I just feel safe in the city. I know where everything is. I don't have to use Google Maps, my Apple Maps. And everything is so close together. In my new city, like, if I want to go to Ralph's, eight minutes away. If I want to go to Target, 14 minutes away from Ralph's. But if I'm going from home, it's seven minutes away. You know, like, it's here. You can hit everything. It's, like, all in a row. But... There's just no nice apartments here. And the one that they just built, because it's brand spanking new, they want to charge an arm and a leg for it. So I'm just like, no, that's not what I'm going to do when I can go to a different city and get that and like find myself in a new city, if that makes sense. But it's honestly not even like finding myself. It's like I just come back home to run my errands. Got to work on that. But also... It's close enough. It's not a big deal if I want to come home to run errands. And look at that. I did my toes. Save money, live better. Um, I'm going to commute home. I'm going to put my groceries away. I'm going to film this video for UGC because it's really easy. They want me to look messy. So it's perfect. And then I'm going to eat. So I made it home. Literally unpacked my groceries in five minutes. Filmed the UGC video that I had to do in 10 minutes edited it in 10 minutes, sent it in, that's done for the day. Then I got a ding dong at the door. I had my Amazon package. I got a new tripod for you guys. I have the one that has like the crazy legs. That's just so obnoxious. Like when I want to take you guys to dinner, like vlogging just like anywhere, this is my new girl. And then my big ass six foot five mirror. This is gonna be my full body mirror that goes into this disgusting room. I'm gonna, after I eat, I might take a nap. I'm gonna clear this whole corner out and that's where the mirror is gonna be so that the natural light hits me. It should be good lighting. Get ready here, check my outfits here because this is where I film my Get Dressed With Me's. Yesterday's Get Dressed With Me, it's like this is where I film it. So it's like, it's yesterday I kept having to walk all the way to my room because that's the only full body mirror in the whole house. And I'm kind of sad because th that big one makes my bedroom one look so little. Like, I think she's six foot. And it's like, this is my only full mirror. So, like, I have to walk in here, which I don't want to be walking on this carpet. I want this carpet to stay clean so I can lay down on it and, you know, vibe. So, that's the vibe. Let's go eat this sushi. I'm going to give you guys a little behind the scenes of me filming my TikTok. Usually I'd be, I kind of know what I want to talk about and I have no idea what I want to talk about. So we're going to see how this goes. Ugh. I feel like the attention span has gotten shorter and shorter on TikTok where I used to like unbox what I got to eat. And now people want to see like you take your first bite immediately. We got eel sauce. <laughs> they gave me two chopsticks. That's cute. It's for one person. I hate when they put it in two separate boxes instead of just like one large box so I can like all the sauces like mix together. This is what I was craving. Oh, a lemon salmon roll. It has spicy crab, salmon, lemon, avocado, seaweed. Oh, and it does have shrimp tempura in it. Fire. And then the yellowtail delight. Spicy tuna. Yellowtail, jalapeno, cucumber, fire. Let's grub. I ordered takeout sushi and I'm so excited. We have two specialty rolls, which I never get specialty rolls. We have the lemon salmon. If you've never tried lemon on salmon, like the whole rind and everything, you need to try it. It pairs perfectly. This is Ooh, mouth is watering. There is shrimp tempura in there. There's spicy crab and then there's salmon and lemon and avocado. And then this is the yellowtail delight. <sighs> She's spicy tuna cucumber on the inside and then yellowtail on the outside with sriracha and jalapeno. I'm so excited. And then what sauces do we have? Let's sauce her up. Spicy mayo and eel sauce over here. And then ponzu over here. Mm, I'm gonna dress them up. Okay, period. Y'all, I'm so hungry. All I had today was a little cereal breakfast bar. It's such a big roll. Mmm. 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 
Mm. I normally would want like some type of green tea, a sparkling green tea. Oh goodness, you were trying to fight me, but this is really good. Mm. Sorry. Next task for the day is to, believe it or not, I've actually been working in here for a good like 10 minutes hanging up clothes. I want to do a big PO unboxing, so that's kind of what's going on over there. And like, if you see a random box, I think there's boxes underneath that stuff. And this is all about the game of finding things at home. We have a house, we need to find individual things at home. And with my vanity, I've gotten so much more makeup in the last few weeks that these drawers don't even close properly. They're not organized properly. But also, I was using like drawers in this vanity for things that like, again, I have a whole home now. I don't have to store everything I own in this vanity. So I can actually take some stuff out that's not makeup and make it 100% makeup and make everything 100% organized. I'm not gonna do all of that today. I'm gonna get the mirror up. I'm gonna clean out this corner for sure and unpack that bag. Besides that, there's no promises with the vanity. All right, this segment of the vlog is called Malia Times the Seven Foot Mirror. I got Jamal on FaceTime in case I need someone to call 911 after this thing falls on my face. It is 80 pounds, okay? I have it propped up against the wall. Hopefully I can just, instead of trying to lift 80 pounds off the ground. Oh goodness. Now this freaking foam out the way. Okay. Holy frick, I'm scared. Okay. Let's read the instructions. Um the instructions are it's a mirror, look at yourself. Okay. Okay, she's falling on me. She's falling on me, but we have a grip on her. Oh, fuck! She's heavy as shit. We're almost there for this. Fuck. Fuck me. This is when I need a second person to get this big ass box out of my way. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't like moving. I'm gonna live here for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh. She's so beautiful. Okay, let's show Jamal. She's huge! She's huge. Outfit slays are about to go dummy, stupid, crazy. Lonnie is opening her makeup, seeing what she wants and what she doesn't want to give to mom. Maybe I'll offer some of this, but we shall see. I was hoping to have the apartment clean before she got here and um, <laughs> oh, she's my sister, she doesn't care. She does she actually cares more than most people. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to show how much fun I'm having. I'm watching 27 Dresses in bed. I can't turn my wrist. I just killed some hot Cheetos and some peanut m &Ms. Life's great. I love being a girl. All right, folks, it's at 11. It's 11 a.m. My hair is washed. My skincare is done. I, so I have my Nespresso, and when I went, thought I was buying new Espresso pods, 
I was actually buying cups of coffee, like that type of pot. And so they're okay, they're not my favorite. So I just bought this like pre-made Starbucks coffee just for now. So this is the vanilla latte with smooth and creamy. And then should I do white chocolate mocha or just sweet cream? I feel like I should just do sweet cream. Planner. I literally leave the planner that we wrote in this uh, on Monday just out and open. All it says, so yesterday I filmed, I mean, I posted my White Fox video, I posted my dance video. Today I have to post my Fashion Nova video and I publicate at 5 p.m. That's it. Yesterday I did everything on my to-do list except the thing that was probably the most important and that's to figure out how to pay off student loans. I feel like it's not something that requires a whole like lot of time. So I feel like right on October 1st, I can just figure it out. <laughs> Is that toxic thoughts? I can never take these little caps off. Oh, I guess I do have something to add. I have a concept I have to turn in. I'm doing a deal with, uh, I don't know if I can say all that. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I do a lot of UGC. So if you guys see me on other brands, TikToks and Instagrams, it's probably because they paid for that. Like brands don't just like take people's videos and run with them. So like I'll make content for them because I just love making content. So that's an easy and fun way for me to make some money on the side. I don't have to bring it to my people on my page. But then of course I still do some brand deals. And I'm doing a brand deal for a company that I used to use. And I never just, I only stopped using it because like, you know, when you're a kid and you feel like, oh, well, that's the stuff my parents always bought. I want to buy something different. That's the only reason I don't, I don't use it anymore. But, and I won't promote something I've never used before. I'll like tell them kind of a week trial and I'll let you know. But so I'm doing this brand deal and it's for something that's a little random. So like, it's hard to just like naturally incorporate. But I want my brand deals to be interesting. I don't want them, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, that's a brand deal. So I'm trying to find that like line of, it's still an interesting video, but she's in her bag, you know? Like I never wanna be like, oh, like she tried to sneak this one in. Like, no, I'm never trying to sneak anything in, but I also don't want to be like, try this, you know? So for this concept, I really should like actually sit down and think about how I want to deliver it instead of just throwing out a concept and like, do you guys like this? Because I see like, I think her name is Elsie Myers, Myers. Uh, her brand deals are so good. Like she makes a whole scene, like it's a whole production. I'm like, dang girl. Okay, vanilla latte, Starbucks edition. Mm-hmm. That's delicious, that's nice. All right, smooth. I'm gonna make a bagel, some scrambled eggs, and I'm gonna work on this concept. So I'll see you guys when it's time to get ready. Okay, y'all, I tried on my outfit just to see if I like it. What do we think? The pink shoes, the pink bag. I did, can you see, is this lighting? Is this better? What if we, don't look at the vanity. I did like pink makeup. It's Hello Kitty. I don't have my lip on. Like I said, I'm gonna put on sweats right now just to drive to Jamal's. I just wanted to make sure the outfit looked cute. I think she does. Hello kitty! Look, I love me some hello kitty! These shoes are to die for. And they're a good platform, so they're pretty comfortable. And I'm glad I did my toes. Because, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put on my, it is, what time is it? I'm still watching the podcast. 12.45, I wanted to leave here at one, probably like 1.15, but I think we can make it. So that's solid. Um, I did end up filming a get ready with me because I was inspired. I talked about college loans and just like college versus no college and don't judge people's paths, you know, but if you want to see that, get ready with me. It should be on TikTok. Um, yeah, this is really cute. I'm happy. Y'all, last night I was partying with Hello Kitty at the Hello Kitty Impressions Vanity launch party. Let me take y'all with me. This was so cute. Of course, I had to start with a nice little cocktail at the bar. The Hello Kitty gifting suite was too cute. This is for the Impressions Vanity Hello Kitty collection. The mirrors, the brushes, love it. And I got my gift bag. So excited to see what's in it. This event had so much to do. There was lots of photo ops. I got a permanent bracelet. They had food. They had face painting. These were the pork and chicken dumplings. Y'all, these were so fire. I was going to town on them. I also got a burger and fries because I don't play when it comes to food. I'm going to grub. After I ate, I went to the Pixie Station for a little makeup touch up. We did a little shadow touch up, a little blush, and got me bright and beautiful again. And then it was time to hit the Hello Kitty photo booth. 
I heard they had funnel cakes and churros. So that was my next stop. And then look at this photo booth. It was like a slow motion camera. This was giving this whole event eight. I'm so happy I got invited to go. Hi, we're vlogging. Say hi. Happy birthday, Serena. Period. I don't know what she said though. Hola.